Hello, in this session we will talk about testing connection to the MongoDB database. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. In the previous session we started the database service by issuing MongoD command on the command line. Now the listener is up and running. Now we need to make a connection to the database using a client tool called Mongo. The database could serve multiple clients. So let's launch one of our own client and make a connection to the database. You can issue this command to launch the MongoDB client software. You can issue this full command if you're in a different folder than bin folder. Otherwise, simply enter mongo.exe. Issuing this command will automatically start a separate session for the command line window and hence the word shell. Make sure you have your database service up and running. This is what we covered in the previous session. So now I'm going to go into the start menu in the search field. I'm going to enter CMD and choose this CMD icon. And now this opens up another Windows shell. Here I'm going to enter the full command if I do not want to navigate to this folder first. So I'm going to enter C colon backslash mongodb backslash bin backslash mongo and hit enter you do not have to enter dot exe so this opens up my client session and in this window you can see the database service is running waiting for the connection so I'm gonna just remove that from this view for now and this is where we need to focus so we are connected to the database and we haven't really looked into how MongoDB works in terms of commands, but we're going to issue a command to insert a document into a collection and then we'll try to retrieve this document. So this will be our test if everything is working properly or not. So in short, tables are collections in MongoDB if you're coming from relational databases background. So here equivalent to table would be a collection. Collection we are creating on the fly is messages. Okay, So we are inserting a document. A document basically is equivalent to records in or, or rows in relational database. So when you insert a record into a collection, if collection doesn't exist, it's created on the fly. So this is the collection in which we are inserting a record or a document. Okay, So this is the document that we're inserting in the document we are setting the value of the name attribute to me and to the message as hello world. I'm going to enter this command on the MongoDB shell. Hit enter. Now we will issue a command that will retrieve all the documents within a collection. So db dot the collection name which is messages that we created on the fly in the previous command and then dot find and bracket open and bracket close. Now I'm going to enter this command in the MongoDB shell. Hit enter. Your document has been retrieved. The ID is automatically given by the system and the name is there, me, and message is there, hello world. To close your shell, you can enter the exit command. Here I entered the exit command and system says bye to me. So this is how you can cleanly close your MongoDB shell. To close your database session, you can simply close the window in which session is running and this will kill your database. In coming sessions, we will talk more about MongoDB commands. So before each session, you should start the two services. The database service should be started as explained in the previous session using MongoD command and the client shell should be started as learned in this session using mongo command.